super excited about this video today, showing you what's in my kids' Easter baskets. Ah, so, let me set these down. I know that Easter is still several weeks away as I'm posting this, but I wanted to share with you some ideas so that you had time to go out, find stuff for your kids, for a significant other. Most of the stuff is kids, but the ideas will still go for anyone. Um, so let's get going and I'm going to show you everything that is in my son's Easter basket. So Nate has special needs. He has autism and sometimes it's really hard finding him stuff that he's going to like. Lucy loves candy. She loves doodads and, <laughs> and makeup stuff and body stuff and, um, toys and stuff like that. Nate does not care about sweets. He does not like sweets. Um, I know that sounds strange, but he doesn't. He likes snacks. He's not big into um, toys, really. He likes electronics, you know, stuff that's really hard to put in an Easter basket. So these are going to be very different baskets, <laughs> and that's okay. Like, I've stopped feeling guilty about the fact that maybe I didn't spit it up on one kid versus the other kid. We, you want it, I want to get them stuff that they're going to like, and if one basket costs a little bit more than the other, it, then it, they don't care. They don't know. So first of all, I want to talk about the actual baskets. Now I got these at Walmart last year and we got these because we were going to the beach last summer and these are like really huge pails <laughs> and they were $5. I have seen these exact same ones at Walmart right now. So they do have them, but I just figured why go out and buy another type of basket when I had these. We took them to the beach, they got sand in them, I just washed them out and we're using them still because they're perfectly fine. And who wants to spend money on new baskets? Not me. So let me get started and I'm gonna show you everything that's in Nate's first. So, um, first of all, I have just, this is a big treat for him. He does not get apple juice like this very much. So I have a small pack, most like this, I don't know if I said this, but most of this stuff came from the Dollar Tree. About 90% of it came from the Dollar Tree. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I definitely did not spend a lot of money. So I got a pack of four and they're in here. This is a treat for him. Um, he doesn't like candy, but he likes juice. Um, this is one of the few toys I found. I just thought it was so funny. I think he's going to like that. He likes things that make noises and it's really silly. I got these at the Dollar Tree. So I got him that. He also really likes Silly Putty. He likes the texture of it. He likes to pull it apart. And uh, we haven't had Silly Putty in a while. So I got him a Silly Putty. And then, oh, that's another juice box. The last, like, toy I got him was this recorder. Now, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I might regret this purchase. <laughs> he might drive us crazy. But he loves instruments. He loves playing. He loves, like, finding tunes. And I just thought this might be fun for him. And for a dollar, that's what he got. Now, because he didn't get much things, I did get him one big thing. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Um, he loves Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I got this at Walmart. It was $10. Um, but he's going to get way more joy out of this than if I got him a few, like, candies and stuff like I got Lucy. So, um, he loves Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. We don't have access to cable. And Mickey Mouse is not on Netflix. It's not on Hulu. It's not on um, Amazon Prime. It's only on cable. Um, and to watch it on Disney Junior, you have to have a cable for Ryder. So, he doesn't get to see this much. So, I got one to put in the car for him. This has like eight episodes, six, six or eight episodes. And um, I think it's going to be money well spent. That's his major prize. And then I got a few snacks. Um, so his absolute favorite snack, if he was to go to the store and pick out a treat, he always picks these. Just the classic potato chips. It's his favorite. I don't buy it a whole lot because he makes a gigantic mess. He like crunches them all over himself. But he loves these. And so um, I got him a fairly good sized bag of those. His, a lot of more his came from uh, Walmart uh, because Dollar Tree is just more for Lucy. The sweets and the toys and stuff. I got, I did get these at the Dollar Tree though. These are his favorite, second favorite to the Lay's. Just the uh, Lay stacks. And then these are new. I found these at Walmart. And I really think he's going to like them because he loves crackers. And he's never had these. So I thought I'd put something a little different in there. And these are the Better Cheddar's Baked Snack Crackers. Um, 
I don't know if he's gonna like them or not. They're different than what he's used to, but we're gonna try it. So that is everything I put in his basket, you guys. It's not, it's not much. It probably cost twenty dollars for this, all this stuff, and ten dollars of it was the basket, maybe twenty-two. Um, ten dollars of it wasn't the basket. Ten dollars was the movie. The basket was free. I got that last year. Now Lucy's is way more fun because <laughs> she likes candy and she likes toys, so she gets. A lot of goodies and this will be portioned out for her over the course of the next month or so she will not get to eat all this at once but she has a lot of stuff here so let me go through it um, first of all I just clipped this onto the side this is a Shopkins hand sanitizer I'm big on hand sanitizing their hands lately because of the germs and the flu and everything that's been going around so I just clipped that to the side and she loves Shopkins I got her some jelly. Oh, I just clicked it to the carrot. That's what I did. So I got her some of these jelly bean carrots. I don't know if it's going to focus at all. Um, but I just figured for Easter, she likes jelly beans and it's that time of year, you know. And then she has been telling me that she wants to try peeps. She's never had peeps. I actually really like peeps. I know some people hate them. Um, and so I asked her what kind she wanted and she said, of course, the pink ones. So I got her these pink bunnies to try. She's never, she says she's never had peeps. I think she probably has, but she doesn't remember. So I got her a small thing of peeps. Those came from the Dollar Tree. Almost everything came from the Dollar Tree on hers. Um, she loves glow sticks, <laughs> loves them. And I like to buy the ones that come with four in a pack. And what she does is she'll have one of these at bedtime and I'll just let her sleep with it. And, um, then it'll like go dead by the, you know, halfway through the night. And so this will last us four nights because there's four in here. She loves glow sticks. Um, I don't think she's ever had these either, but I loved the packaging. The packaging totally got me. <laughs> these are the Mike and Ike, um, and it has a little Easter bunny. It says Mike and Ike Easter treats. Um, I think they're just regular Mike and Ike. I'm pretty sure she's gonna like these. She likes any kind of candy, let's be real. But I love the package. Okay, the only really toy I got her was a Sheriff Cali set. It came with five pieces so I don't know if you guys know what Sheriff Cali is but it's a kids show I found these at a consignment shop for two dollars I got all of these they look like brand new and um I am going to stop buying toys <laughs> except for when I can get them so cheap it's amazing how much they had so I got these for two dollars so I think she's going to be really excited about the Sheriff Cali set now I did get her a set of six eggs because she loves plastic eggs and she will drive you crazy with like opening them and shutting them and put stuff in them eventually like a few weeks after Easter these will find a trash can because mommy gets a little bit sick of them but um, I filled each one and I got these at the Dollar Tree as well I filled each one with a little package of gummy bears which is like her favorite um, and I got a pack of gummy bears. I think it had like eight in a pack um, at the Dollar Tree. These little individual um, are all falling everywhere. <laughs> um, okay. This did not come from the Dollar Tree, but I got it for free at Kroger. They have like a free Friday download, which if you have a Kroger near you, load the free Friday download on Fridays and you'll get a free item. And this is a Lent chocolate which is like the best chocolate ever it's a lint egg she's going to go crazy for this i kind of wanted to eat it myself i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but i said no i'm gonna put it in lucy's easter basket she'll be so excited i'm pretty sure it's just like a i don't know if it's hollow it doesn't say I don't, usually they're hollow but this is still solid so it's a chocolate egg okay everything else came from the dollar tree she loves these things isn't this just like a kid thing they all love it so if she doesn't like the cheese, she just likes the breadsticks. And I'm just noticing a lot of these are broken. I should have checked it. Um, but she loves the breadsticks. And for a dollar, you get six little packages or five little packages. So I went ahead and got them, even though the cheese is kind of a waste. Um, which I feel like that's okay. She doesn't have to eat that. It's a bunch of chemicals, right? <laughs> and then this is like her absolute favorite candy, M&Ms. So I got the little Easter package of those. 
Uh, she really likes these. These are a new treat that she started eating not that long ago. She tried them and she really likes them. These are moon pie minis, which I like the mini ones because the big ones are way too much for her. They're only 110 calories. Not that we count calories with her, but they're just really small. They're a nice little treat. If you are not from the South, you might not know what moon pies are. They're, um, little marshmallow treats. So they're like a little marshmallow in a little graham cracker sandwich kind of thing with chocolate. They kind of have like a s'mores taste. And they have different ones. They have like a vanilla and a banana flavor, but I figured she would like the chocolate one. And then I got her a pack of tissues. Now this child, she loves t tissues and Kleenex. Like every night, I don't even have one beside my bed. You know, if I need to do a tissue, I'll just get up and find one. But she likes them right by her bed. <laughs> so I saw this box, this Minnie Mouse box, and I thought, Yes, that is going to be perfect for her. So I got her mini, and of course her basket has mini um, holding eggs. Yeah, does it have Daisy too? Yeah, it has Daisy too. So I thought this would be perfect, mini and Daisy um, tissue box for her. So like I said, I did not go crazy this year. I've definitely gotten a more in the past for Easter. But you know what? This is what I'm going to say is my biggest tip for Easter. Buy stuff that they're, you're already going to have to buy. You know, if they need a new bathing suit or they need new socks, stick it in there. You're going to have to buy it anyway. Save some money and it can be fun for them to open. You know, a lot of this kind of stuff is snacks that Nate, I would have to buy Nate snacks anyway for school or whatever. These may be a little bit more his style than, you know, goldfish or something else I would buy. But it's still stuff that I'm not breaking the bank buying, you know, lots of different things. And the second thing I would say, don't have guilt. Don't have that mommy guilt. If you can't afford a big basket, but you can afford a treat or two, fine. Your kids will not mind. Don't feel bad. Do what you can. Um, and like with Nate, I have stopped feeling bad if I can't give him as many things as Lucy. Um, there's going to be times like I decided to get him this movie um, just because I noticed that he really has been wanting to watch Mickey. I probably wouldn't have had this in here and he would be fine with a couple of treats in his basket. It doesn't have to be a comparison thing. And you know what? They're too little to understand, um, you know, he got 10 things and I got five or whatever. And, you know, it just don't, don't let yourself go there. Don't try to make it even. Give what you can. It's about, we all know what the true meaning of Easter is. And, and I hope that you know the true meaning of Easter. And it's not about the baskets or the eggs or the bunny or, you know, anything else. It's about the fact that Jesus is alive and that we can have a relationship with him. So this other stuff is just fun. Don't be stressed about Easter. Do little things. If you, if you don't want to spend money on a basket that you're not going to use again, put it in a gift bag. Just make a pile. We've had that before. Just a little pile of stuff. You don't even have to have a basket. Don't stress. Just make it fun. Uh, make it simple. And that's what I love. So I hope this gave you some ideas. Most of the stuff was super cheap. Nate's came more from Walmart. Lucy's was all from the Dollar Tree. Who cares? It was fun making it. I hope you guys got some ideas. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. Happy Easter, everybody. Tonight we're running on the right track.